literally, this has been my most requested video. You guys don't even request that much. You wanted some more top 10 videos? I gave you those. Perfect. You wanted the bootleg Super Saiyan legendary Super Saiyan bootleg review. This thing took way too long. I pre-ordered it the first day that he popped up on AliExpress or Alibaba, whatever you call them. And we are finally going to be finishing this Filthy Frank song. Do you miss me? So we have, um, in today's video, we are going to be doing the review and comparison that you guys have been asking for because listen i posted on tiktok also but i posted on instagram a uh kind of my take on the whole toy community and the toy industry and just how everything is just overpriced right now and i'm just a little fed up with it so a lot of people in the comments were saying they just buy bootlegs so i understand why you guys request so many bootleg videos because you know, say you're a younger kid or maybe you're even an older person and you don't want to spend $70 on this guy, you know, with, with tax and shipping and you want to spend 20 bucks on this guy. So let's take a look right away. Some of the comparisons, just so you know, like if you ever buy a bootleg, they even didn't even try. It's got a red background, the bootleg, though it's got a yellow background, pretty much the same stuff. I mean, missing the stickers and the words. Um, there are some bootlegs, though, that do copy the words, so be careful. But yeah, you could tell this is just a crappy print. I do not condone bootlegs. Even on the bootleg websites, they say this contains cancerous plastic garbage material. You know, if, if anything, Bandai... I, I mean, I don't know what kind of materials Bandai uses. They could be using the same poisonous material, but... Uh, they're not even hiding it. So when you go on the websites, it literally, when I bought this, said, this is poison, basically. <laughs> but uh, I'm doing it for you guys. So smash that like button, at least. If you could smash the like button and leave a comment, say, thank you for the poison, or something like that. Uh, I have to say right off the bat, the faces, okay, all right. Can you chill? Oh my god, he just came apart, like, right away. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so this isn't third party. And, you know, I do a lot of videos on the channel of bootleg stuff and third party stuff. And, oh man, he's not even... Okay, hold on. Alright, there he goes. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, we're in for a treat today, guys. Alright, hold on a second. Remember, this is not third party, it's bootleg so technically you don't need, like you're getting the worst lowest product that you can get that they could put together and label it a, a thing just from my initial first thoughts my first views he he doesn't look that bad i have to say so um we'll do official comparisons towards the end obviously but just right right off the bat um i have to say it's not the worst bootleg. Again, this was 20 bucks. So the uh, original was uh, uh, upwards to 60 plus dollars. And okay, so everything's a little janky. A lot of times the molds just need to be cleaned up. If you don't mind, you could clean them up yourself, shave off like the extra pieces and and you could get this working smoothly. So that that is one thing if you... Oh, my lights are just shutting off left and right. I think we're okay. So like I was saying, the uh, figure is looking good. I mean, you really you really wouldn't be able to tell. I mean, the original uh, figure is one of the best, smoothest figures I've, I've gotten uh, from Bandai, at least in a long time. So that there's that. But damn, I'm I'm I don't know, man. I'm liking this guy so far. Now let's let's do a quick run of the articulation. Head falls apart instantly. Um, the arms are surprisingly good. Now they they use the cheap ball joints, crappy ball joints right there. They weren't even trying with that. Um, leg didn't break pops off so you're gonna want to do some shaving yeah you're gonna just want to shave a bunch of this off again it's a bootleg so who cares right um just a few little modifications and i think you could really get this guy going uh at least to get some cool customs but i have to say the upper body is pretty good um 
that's that. So that keeps popping off as well. Uh, again, you know, do a few mods and you should be okay. I'm, I have to say, I'm, I'm not hating it so far. Um, do I recommend it? Wait till the end. I will tell you guys. Oh, okay. That's going to be a problem. So everything's looking pretty clean and good. Now, what I think I might do for this figure is I might do a custom paint job and have him all bloodied up to be accurate to when he's fighting Frieza and he's just kicking butt and he's all bloody and, you know, hold on, let me see, you know, and I, and just get him there to that. Now, what's cool is I, the head sculpts look absolutely great. This is how, this might be the cleanest paint jobs. Hold on, let me show you guys the faces. Oh yeah, he's not standing. So I have to honestly say these are some of definitely some of the best face plates I have seen. It they look so damn clean. They look official. I'm gonna compare them at, at, at the officials. This guys, I am I'm getting really excited about this. This is pretty good. This this guy's pretty good. Now, big glaring. I don't even know if I have to say it. The chest piece is literally a painted chest piece so the skin is like a molded skin color which looks nice but the chest is just like literally tan but when i repaint this figure it'll be fine because i'm going to repaint the whole figure you know to get bloody and, and everything so that is something i could personally fix now let's see his head oh head swappable and it actually came off fairly easy Wow, okay, head, head swapped very good. Let's put this head on it. And let's see how this one looks. Wow, guys, uh, very sloppy. You know, like, listen, you're not gonna be getting your the best. You're not getting the best out of these figures, but I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. Now, uh, the official one, this is the third party Goku figure, which is really great. I have a review up on the channel, check it. And I want to see how this head pops on to here. You ready? Oh, hold on. I don't want to get the mixed up. Let's see. Okay. I knew it. Hold on a second. Yes, this is going to be perfect. Okay, so the official head was a little bit loose when I tried popping it on this body. And this guy is perfect. So I have, a, I have an official Super Saiyan head now. And it, it says on and it looks great. And now I have a Super Saiyan Goku 3.0 body. Yeah, that, that looks great to me. That looks pretty good. What do you guys think on that one? Does that look good? You guys liking that? Even if I just keep that head, it's worth it. This, this figure has been worth it so far. And then he comes with two heads. On the bootleg, I could have him powering up right here. I could have him powering up and fighting Frieza. Look at that. You know, I could do something crazy like that. Ah! The comparisons, I mean, you could clearly see. This is one of the best figure arts figures that are out there. So, if I had to recommend, I would say definitely pick this guy up. But, I have to say that the bootleg is pretty damn good. And this is not a third party. This isn't a uh, demonical fit or something like that. This is a boot leg. And it is, it was only 20-ish bucks. You, I'm sure if you wait even, they'll go down to 15, 10 sometimes. I am really impressed. Really impressed with the boot leg right there. That, I, I actually cannot believe it. It's, it's pretty damn good. Look. The shake test, you know, uh, he, he does have some trouble standing, but so does this guy. He even comes with the uh, energy ball, energy effect, um, all the hands. You know, I have the full review on this guy if you want to go more in depth. Uh, but really, just wanted to show you the comparison. That's going to be a problem. But like I said, um, just try to shave off all the extra pieces and a little bit of a little bit of elbow grease and you can get this guy in really working order and i i have to say i'm very impressed 
and I, I'm actually happy with this guy. And he, I believe he is shelf worthy. So, um, and he's fun to play with. Like he, you could have him on your desk. This might be one of the best bootlegs that I have bought in, in a bought in that I have bought. I know bought in is a word, but I don't like it. Make sure you check out my Macari shop. Down below is the link. I have a sign up code. If you guys want to sign up to Macari using my link, we both get up to $50 in credit. So down below, right in the description, check a video out on screen. Even if you've seen it before, click on it. It helps out the channel and I'll see you in the next toy hunt. Bye guys.